What will we do with this moment? How will we be remembered? This is our future and our choice to make. I am asking you to choose greatness. Welcome back to Real Trump News. Real news President Trump doesn't want you to miss. Let's start with President Trump's recent tweets. President Donald Trump announced on September 18 that he will name Robert C. O'Brien as a new national security advisor. He said, I'm pleased to announce that I will name Robert C. O'Brien, currently serving as a very successful special presidential envoy for hostage affairs at the State Department as our new national security advisor. I have worked long and hard with Robert. He will do a great job. On the same day, President Trump said he has asked the U.S. Treasury Department to increase sanctions on Iran following attacks on Saudi oil production facility. He tweeted, I have just instructed the Secretary of Treasury to substantially increase sanctions on the countries of Iran. Next, the Washington Post is commenting that the New York Times Caliban smear shows why the press is the least trusted institution in America. A Columbia Journalism Review poll released this year found that half of all Americans have hardly any confidence at all in the media, which beats out even Congress as an institution for which the public has the lowest confidence. It's not hard to see why. Last week, CNN reported that the CIA was forced to pull a highly placed source inside the Kremlin because of concerns that the President Trump might burn him. When it turns out, the decision to extract the source was made before Trump took office because of leaks from senior Obama administration officials. Then, over the weekend, the New York Times published a story claiming a previously unreported sexual assault allegation against Justice Brent Caliban. One small problem in the book. Two authors write that the female students in question refused to discuss the incident and that the several of her friends said she does not recall it. The time left that part out of its initial story, later adding a clarification. Lastly, Washington Examiner is reporting Trump's welcome rule change. No more food stamp for millionaires. When American thinks of food stamp recipients, image of desperate low-income Americans typically come to mind. Imagine the outrage then, as taxpayers found out that some of the people on food stamp are in fact millionaires. Thanks to President Trump, taxpayers may soon get a respite from this ludicrous loophole. Because of a bizarre loophole in how food stamps are administrated by states, millionaires or even billionaires can receive food stamps. A loophole allows bureaucrats to simply ignore federally mandated asset requirements. As a result, an estimate 3.1 million to 5 million people currently on food stamps shouldn't be receiving these welfare benefits. Taxpayers deserve better than having to share their paycheck with well-off Americans who are unlikely to be in want of a meal. The Trump administration is finally looking into fixing this problem. This proposed rule change is set to save taxpayers close to $10 billion over the next five years. And that's this week's Real Trump News. We will see you next time.